stopped were stalled cars and frozen fuel lines. In Suffolk, 60 pieces of equipment were sent sanding and salting. In Nassau County, 100 sanders were put to work. By the end of the day, central Long Island had received many inches of snow, with both the east end and western Long Island receiving less of the stuff. In all, 140 weather-related accidents were recorded in Nassau County. In Suffolk, authorities say they're still being swamped with calls. And this December surprise certainly caught a lot of us off guard. Here's Norm Devosky now to tell us whether or not there's more in store. Norm? Well, we've had one of the most unusual days across Long Island that I've ever experienced. We had tropical air out on the east end with torrential rain. In the center of Long Island, we had a major snowstorm. And in western Nassau County in New York City, we had light snow with just a few flurries in Central Park. But there are some rapid changes taking place, and I'll be back in just a few minutes with the full details. First snowfall of the year, News 12's, or of the season, rather, News 12's Don Crawford is in Syosset now with the report. Hi, Don. Hi, how you doing tonight? This snow scene behind me certainly looks like a winter wonderland, but for those who were caught in this winter wonderland coming home this afternoon, it left them wondering how they'd get home with numerous accidents abounding all over Long Island. But for these people fond of the uh, flexible flyer as a mode of transportation, it was all great fun. Long Island got dumped on today, but in the kind of way many people like. No. This thing boogies right down. <laughs> Were you surprised by the snow? Very much. Sure. Pleasantly they surprised? Yeah. <laughs> well, these folks were slip sliding away on this hill. Other folks were slip sliding away on the roadways. Enter the snow plows, the sanders, shovels, and other forms of snow removal. Do you find the newspaper method very effective for removing snow? Tonight I do. It's the only thing I have. <laughs> How's it doing? It's not doing a bad job. I got the car running for a while. Now I'm going to clean it up and let the heat take care of the rest of it. This fellow decided to sweep that snow right off of his car. Why the broom? Well, it goes a lot quicker than a little broom. I use the bigger broom. <laughs> Fortunately, the only accidents we've seen here tonight at Syacity Community Park are of the flexible flyer variety. But Nassau County police are warning motorists not to use their car unless they absolutely have to. And conditions are reportedly worse in Suffolk County. Reporting live from Syasa Community Park, Don Crawford, News 12, Long Island. Back to you in the studio. All right, Don. Come inside as soon as you can. I'm going to sleigh ride a little first. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, in other ways, New York State hopes soon to be able to put the brakes on. Six inches on Long Island tonight. The evening rush hour is slowed to a frustrating crawl in the LIE. Police departments reported dozens of jackknife tractor trailers and collisions, but there were no serious injuries. In Oakdale, the busy intersection of Sunrise and Montauk highways had to be closed for a while due to slippery road conditions, so slippery road tape broke up right there. The first real snowfall of the season came on a day when temperatures struggled up a few notches, but not before the cold snap had killed at least five people. Linda Church is going to be here with a look at the complete forecast a bit later in this program. <laughs> ah. And now it wasn't much fun having to shovel out of this mess. Bob Rizzo, though, found it a good time to practice the old slap shot with his son Robert. It's all in how you look at this storm. Around the corner, Sherry Leibowitz and her son, Seth, were also surprised by the storm today and the amount of work it left them. Twice this is the second dusting we're shoveling. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a surprise. They don't say it's going to snow anymore, so I guess I'm going to have school. <laughs> also tonight, the road conditions here on the Long Island Expressway, normally congested at rush hour, were made even worse by the fact that ice covered all six lanes. A parade of plows came through, cutting a wide path several times and salting the ice. Still, it took many people several hours to make it home tonight. 